Um, so I am, my name is Jess, I'm the farmer at Chickadee Creek Farm, and we are getting more and more involved in growing vegetables in the winter, um, which seems like an act of masochism because it's cold out here in the winter and it's um, not the most pleasant time to be doing work in unheated spaces. And we only grow in unheated greenhouses, so what's the justification for this crazy act of lunacy to be trying to grow vegetables in the winter time? And part of it is that the vegetables have amazing flavor profiles in the winter that you'll never find in your summer vegetables. Greens become sweeter, um, that's the, the most marked thing, and bitter greens get their bitterness mellowed out so you can taste more of their other flavors. One of the really good examples of this is tatsoi, which is a type of Asian green. Um, a lot of the Asian greens are related to mustards and they're really spicy. They've got a kick to them when you eat them. But in the winter time, they mellow out and they sweeten up and they become perfectly suitable for eating fresh rather than having to cook out that spiciness. So tat soy in the middle of the summer starts to taste more like a mustard, but in the middle of the winter, um, it gets this really sweet stem and a very a very mild leaf, and it's a perfect salad green. We sell in the winter time at the Princeton Farmers Market every second Thursday of the month. And instead of it being in its outdoor location on Heinz Plaza next to the library, it's inside the public library. And we also sell uh, a couple times a winter at the moment at the Stangle Factory Market, which is a new farmers market in downtown Flemington on the corner of Mine Street and Stengel Road. So our next markets are uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, and February 16th in Flemington.